Can you introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, my name is Momen Amastasin. Uh, I'm a biomedical uh, engineering and applied math major at Stony Brook University. I'm a senior currently, graduating next month, hopefully. And where did you do your study abroad program? So I studied abroad in Rome over the winter. Uh, it was uh, January 2015. I've been to Italy several times before, but um, I chose to go on the study abroad because I wanted to study abroad. Um, and I needed a deck I, which is European traditions and history. So it kind of worked out for me. Oh, great. Yeah. Excellent. So you answered my first question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, can you tell us um, if finances were a concern for you at all when you deciding to go abroad? And if they were, how did you pay for your experience? Finances are always a concern because when you're traveling internationally, you're, I mean, your air ticket itself is really expensive. Um, and the euro is stronger than the dollar. Uh, finances were a concern, but I uh, just asked my parents. I, it was it was hard to talk to them because I thought they would not let me go on the study abroad. But I just uh, convinced them, and they eventually got convinced, and they paid for it. Oh, great! Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> um, so while you were abroad, were there any um, instances or experiences where you felt you felt or you directly experienced um, discrimination or you were de dealing with stereotypes? And if so, um, how did you handle those situations? So yeah, there were uh, a few situations. Um, the Vatican City, I had a lot of people come up to me and speak to me in, in Persian because um, I don't know how, but they could tell that uh, my mom is Persian. So they picked up on that. So they're really nice to me. Uh, they gave me discounts. Um, yeah, uh, but yeah, there was another incident as well in Florence. Um, they were, uh, they were also kids from another study abroad program. They're, I think, from somewhere in Europe. And because my group of uh, the group that was with me for study abroad, we were all really diverse um, ethnically. And I mean, we're all American, but yeah. So they, some of them got some remarks from some people that weren't really nice, but uh, never pick a fight. <laughs> never pick a fight because there almost was one but uh, yeah, because when you're abroad, you also need to know that every country has their own uh, laws and um, getting into a fight. You don't want to end up in jail or at the police station, right. um, no matter whose fault anything is. Great. Yeah. And so my last question is, what advice do you have for students who are thinking about going abroad or who haven't quite decided to do that yet? So the first thing that I tell anyone um, who says that they're traveling internationally I don't get paid by T-Mobile. Um, I used to really not like them, but um, wherever you go, whatever country you go to, you get free texting and you get free data. And those things really matter because uh, there was this one time we all went to a football game, soccer game, um, and one of the people from the group, she got lost and her she didn't have any cell phone coverage. But because me and this other student had uh, cell phone coverage, we were able to find directions back to the place where we had last seen her and we found her there and brought her back. So, but it's really, uh, it's really useful to have um, a working phone because you want to know where you are so you can uh, use your GPS or be in touch with other people because uh, it's a new country, it's a new place, especially if it's your first time traveling to another country, you don't want to be lost. Yeah. Yeah. Carry minimal cash because you don't want, if, if you lose it, then it really bums you. Uh, bums you out. Uh, you don't really get charged too much if you have an ATM or debit card and you can just withdraw cash from a cash point or whatever. It only charges you conversion fee or service fee or something. So it's still, it's, it's, it's good and it's um, convenient and you'll have more fun not worrying about those several hundred dollars or whatever you're carrying. Um, and yeah, have fun. Most importantly, have fun. Make friends. Um, don't stay in, uh, don't be that person who is abroad and just does nothing. Go out, explore, take walks. Um, try to notice the cultural differences between where you live and uh, the way you live back home and the way these people live in their country. Try to live like a local and get an experience of what it actually is to be a local resident of whatever place you're visiting. Yeah. Have fun and hold on to these memories and moments forever. Thank you. <laughs>